Well, Kim in Croft and Design 3.0 for my dear audience. In this video, I will describe some different and much beautiful ideas of uh, scrap metal animal sculpture or scrap metal or uh, Croft and Design. So, uh, dear audience, when we talk about uh, scrap metal uh, sculpture or scrap metal animal sculpture, then different questions arise in our mind, like as uh, what is the use of metal in sculpture or how are metal sculptures made or what is a scrap art called or what are most metal sculptures it, it, it can be a different question so uh, dear audience when you talk about uh, what is the use of metal in sculpture then there are many other metals that can be used for sculpture including aluminium steel and copper so these metals uh, can be caused or constructed into sculptures uh, using various methods. So metals uh, are durable and uh, can withstand harsh weather condition, uh, making them ideal for outdoor sculpture. So you know, how are metal sculpture made? Uh, then a metal sculpting uh, or alloys casting is the process of creating objects of metal um, by pouring liquid metal into molds to form them in sculptures or other items. So copper, brass, bronze and aluminium are the most common materials um, poured into molds. Uh, making a metal sculpture is relatively uh, easy and uh, inexpensive. So what is uh, scrapped art called? Uh, then noun sculpture. Uh, assemblage uh, constructed from uh, discarded materials as uh, gloss, scrap metal, plastic and uh, wood. So what are most sculptures made of? Um, and the metal most used for sculptures is bronze which is basically an alloy of copper and uh, tin. But gold, silver, aluminium, copper, brass, lead and iron have also been widely used. So what are and the advantage of metal sculpture then metal uh, don't burn are highly repairable and of special interest to designers um, offer an e enormous variety of finish possibilities so metals are uh, unique in the unequal in the combination of durability beauty and cost in applications as uh, diverse as tool jewelry uh, prosthetic uh, device or furniture so when did metal sculpture start if uh, we talk about in then ancient uh, metal art there is evidence of metal art which goes all the way back to 7000 bc and indeed it is uh, thanks to the you know, resilient nature of metals that some of the oldest items ever found in archaeological uh, deeds have been have been metal art so uh, if we talk about uh, what are uh, famous sculptures in metal standing an impressive 30 meters high uh, these horses were created in 2013 by sculpture and scott that are found just outside uh, fall cake in scotland uh, weighing in at over 300 tons each sculpture is made up of thousands of individually crafted pieces of stainless steel so how how are small metal sculptures made and then some are cast in foundries uh, after a cast is made from clay or wax original uh, some are welded like the enormous uh, industrial Sculptures of the abstract ex expression uh, some are made with gold coins connected with wrapped uh, wire or balanced in slots or uh, uh, folded into shapes. So what is the process of metal sculpturing cost? Then the basic metal casting process is uh, uh, create the pattern uh, before you make your mold. Uh, you must create a pattern to determine the uh, molded mold shape. and make the mold and uh, choose the uh, metallic alloy and also melt the alloy and pour into the mold so remove the costing from the mold and um, after that is finish
finishing it is it can be a proper thing made um, uh, different purposes thing uh, we can see that so um, scrap sculpture the beauty of scrap metal art lies in taking something old breaking it down and totally transforming it into something completely new so scrap metal pieces are currently being sold for thousands of pounds uh, making scrap um, artistry and sculpture high um, low creative so what is a scrap metal sculpture scrap metal art is a unique and um, fascinating form of expressions that transform discarded metal into stunning works of art so from sculptures to garden decor there's uh, no limit to the creativity that can be unleashed through the this medium so what is scrap metal used for in art some sculpture uh, also use scrap metal for their artwork the attraction for artists is in all of uh, the different materials colors sizes and forms that come in the variety of recycled metal so sculpture um, from recycled metal is distinctive and unique so when we talk about which artist does metal sculptures then other artists known for creating uh, metal sculpture include Isamo uh, Nagochi and Lois uh, Borgesius, Sir Anthony Caro and Mark D. and Suero and um, Henry Matisse and Henry Moray and Edgar Dregis, uh, Alberto uh, Guy Committee and Jacob Epstein and Umberto uh, Bucani. So, uh, what is the cheapest metal for sculpture? It's also uh, my answer is uh, tin. Tin is one of the most versatile metal uh, for artwork and it's one of the cheapest materials on this uh, list. Tin is inexpensive and widely available and it's uh, very easy to recycle into art. So, what kind of steel is used in sculpture? And then stainless steel is a popular choice for public art, sculpture and outdoor features as it can be welded, machined, bent and finished with many different surface finishes and colors effect in. In contrast, any paint finish is likely to bubble and peel. So why is sculpture good? Um, also from my one day audience question me that um, sculpture how how a sculpture good sculptures uh, represent many aspects of our society and uh, are thus excellent for symbolism take an example of the statues uh, used to portray you know, wild animal or those used to depict you know, people's way of lives uh, these objects so uh, as a reminder of what was what is and what could be and other are the circular in our lives so what is um, the difference between uh, metal and stone sculpture different between sculpting mm, stone and metal those stone sculpting you know, remove the unwanted parts from a stone in case of metal sculpting and uh, foster clay form is created then cast and molded it in different metal in case of sculpting um, stone uh, additive Sub, uh, subtractive method are applied but for sculpturing metal you know, molding is used so in which era was metal used in the sculpture so metal artwork have been uh, traced to the early bronze age in about uh, 3 500 bc however because bronze is an ally of copper and tin the advent of metal sculpture you know, or depend on the availability of those two elements in any, in, in any given reason. So, thank you very much guys for watching my video. Once again, uh, thank you very much for watching my video.